He was born on a military base on a Hawaiian island. Why does everyone say Oahu, Hawaii? It's Honolulu. I was born in Honolulu. That's where what Honolulu is on Oahu. But you know what they don't say? They in Oahu. Oahu, Hawaii doesn't make any sense. He started to explode on YouTube while he was still studying engineering at college. Been planning probably about for the past few weeks, my parents have been playing for months. Now, he's one of YouTube's most beloved gaming superstars with tens of millions of subscribers. Everything, every single moment in my mind coming to this point where I am, where I'm so lucky to be in a position where you guys look up, where you guys look up to me with hope and <laughs> you look to me for guidance. What's up, Pro Guys family? My name is Nathan Ng, and today we're going to be following the story of how Mark Edward Fishbach, better known as Markiplier, went from being just another student at a university to being one of the most well known names in the history of gaming on YouTube. Markiplier's love of gaming started at a very early age. When you're still a kid growing up in Cincinnati, you could find Mark doing one of two things, playing out in the yard and the woods with his brother, or playing on the computer that his dad had introduced him to. The love of gaming was something that only grew over time. There were a few games on the computer, but the real experience that I got from gaming came from the Super Nintendo system that my brother got for Christmas. I mean, this thing was the reason that me and my brother are so close today, because we played so many games together with it. But video games weren't just something that Markiplier did for fun. They were a form of escape. His mom and dad argued constantly, and eventually the two got a divorce. Mark continued to live his life with his dad, but with his mom no longer living with them, they had to move their house, school, and give up on buying as many video games as they did before. That meant Mark had to find himself another hobby, which he managed to do with ease. He joined the marching band at his new high school and managed to make some pretty good friends while doing it. But that doesn't mean that gaming fell out of his life entirely. He was still playing video games whenever he got the chance. Trying yeah, the family I for don't, sure. I don't get, let me just, a tangent. Why in school did we need to learn so much about the specific angles of triangles? Boy, Why they, did I have to learn what Pythagoras' theorem was? I have never used that. Yeah, <laughs> hey, A squared plus that. B squared equals C. I guess judging distances, that's helpful, but uh, I guess? Just when things were starting to look up in Mark's life and he was getting ready to go off on his own to college, his dad hit him with a bombshell. He had cancer. Before that point, Mark had built up exactly what he wanted to do in his mind, and he had a clear path towards what he wanted to go for. But now, suddenly, everything was murky and uncertain again. He wanted to go on and become a video game designer, something that his dad had never agreed with. Instead, he went to college to learn, at first, civil engineering, and then biomedical engineering because they had a medical school program. But none of it was working, and he switched between the two types of engineering and even back to gaming a few times. All of this continued for a year, and Mark was getting progressively more unhappy. That's when things took an even bigger turn for the worst. Over the course of that year, Mark's dad's cancer had slowly been getting worse. Mark's whole family was suddenly back together with Summer, when suddenly he woke up by screams of his stepmom. His dad's cancer had become so bad it was clear that, sadly, he was dying. It's hard to come back from a moment like that, especially when you're already in a state where you don't especially know what you want to do with your life. Mark wasn't able to pull himself out of this funk immediately. Why did Markiplier have surgery? Oh, before I did YouTube, I had a tumor in my adrenal gland. So my first surgery was to get that removed. The other surgery that I had in the middle of me having a YouTube channel was I had scar tissue that had adhered to my intestines. So uh, it blocked up. I became, as doctors called it, full of shit and uh, I had to get that removed. While he was recovering from the surgeries to get those things out of his body, Mark had a little bit of an epiphany. Enough was enough. He was gonna start living for him, and he'd do what he wanted to do. What Mark wanted to do ended up being making videos on the internet. At first, he was gonna start out making comedy skit videos, but that didn't really quite work out. So instead, he started making gaming videos. Unfortunately, just after two months, he had shut his first channel down. That wasn't because he was planning on quitting or anything like that. He just couldn't connect his AdSense to the channel, and so he had to start it from scratch. And that was the birth of Markiplier. It was May 26, 2012, and Markiplier's journey was just the beginning. When Mark was starting to upload content on YouTube, he completely flooded the site with his videos. After he uploaded his first video, he went ahead and uploaded 23 other videos the same day. The second day was even more intense, with the early Markiplier uploading another 55 more. Within two days, his channel had over 75 videos in it. That's an amount that takes most YouTubers almost a year to do. So, 
how is he doing it? Well, for the most part, Markiplier was uploading VODs and compilations from his Twitch streams and likely old videos from his previous YouTube channel. His strategy was fairly simple. He'd upload a whole bunch of videos from one game and then, the very next day, move on to the next one. The method of flooding YouTube with content probably wouldn't work on modern day iteration of the website, but in the wild west of YouTube's earlier days in 2012, it provided Markiplier with a solid starting point to start growing from. And grow was exactly what Markiplier did. Oh, these are padded rooms! Padded cells! In the first few days, he already had 500 subscribers, a few months, and that number had blown up to a couple thousand. And by February of 2013, he'd already hit 100,000. This type of growth is a commonplace on YouTube in certain communities these days, but back then, it was something truly to behold, and it didn't really come without sacrifices. YouTube was a major commitment for Mark, making all his videos took time and effort, and to make it work, he basically cut out everything else that he was doing, and that included college. He was only two semesters away from his final graduation ceremony, but he walked away because he was more passionate about making YouTube and he couldn't find the time to both upload videos and work on his finals. And you guys have given me an amazing opportunity. And I'm never gonna forget that. And I'm never gonna forget who I am or why I do this. So thank you guys, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. When Markiplier hit 100,000 subscribers in February 2013, he made a bold declaration. His goal was to jump up from 100,000 subscribers at that point all the way to a million subscribers at the same time next year. To do that, he started switching up his content a little bit. He had started by uploading tons of horror game content from games like Amnesia The Dark Descent and Penumbria, and while he was also uploading drug Minecraft series that had been pretty popular. In 2013, he turned his sights on other types of games, games like Happy Wheels. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Let's Play Happy Wheels. Now I've kind of been staying away from this game, but more and more people have been requesting it. I kind of feel like it's been done by a lot of people, but one of my donators from the 12 hour livestream personally requested that I give it a try. So I'm just going to give it a try. If you like it, that's great. In 2012, Happy Wheels have become incredibly popular on YouTube, with tons of content creators across the platform making content on that game. It was an incredibly simple and fun game where users created levels for people to race through with using a variety of vehicles ranging from bikes and unicycles to even pogo sticks. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I was doing something impressive there or not. Markiplier kind of joined the hype just as it was dying down, but people were still more than interested enough in the content to start making his channel explode. He went from getting thousands of views every video to millions of views seemingly overnight. That goal to get a million subscribers by February of next year, he completely blew it out of the water. After making the switch to Happy Wheels videos, Markiplier's horizons were constantly widening. In 2014, he left his hometown of Cincinnati and moved to live in LA, in an attempt to open up more career opportunities and strike out of his own property alongside some friends. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to LA. Come on in. My home is your home. Get ready for a week of amazing videos you can make. He had been working on a channel called Syndigo, which was based around comedy sketches alongside some other YouTubers. One of those was Daniel Kyer, one of Mark's best friends. On the 16th of September 2015, Daniel was found near death in his bed due to what is thought to be a suicide attempt. He passed away two days later due to brain damage. Mark was devastated by this loss and didn't just shut down Syndigo, but took a brief hiatus from YouTube entirely. You know, it, it is a tragedy that he's gone, and I've taken the time to accept that. And I've taken the time to address it in my own way. I've taken the time to process it. He didn't come back till the 5th of October, mourning the loss, but when he did, he was able to boost his channel up to even higher than 10 million subscribers. While Markiplier primarily makes videos on YouTube, he also does do live streams and a majority of those live streams are to raise money for various charity organizations. Over the years, he had raised tons of money for charities like Child's Play, Living Beyond Breast Cancer, and American Cancer Society, and so much more. It's something that Mark has been doing since he had around 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, and it's something that he's continued to do ever since. It's pretty awesome to see someone with so much influence and reach on YouTube help so many people throughout his charity streams. Maybe they were right. Maybe I did prejudge something I knew nothing about. So I asked some gamers to invite me to experience this thing that they love. And they did. Two very popular YouTube gamers, Markiplier and Mrs. May, agreed to meet me at Maker Studios, where they make a lot of these videos, to teach me the ways of the Game Watcher. Of course, being one of the world's most beloved gaming YouTubers has some other perks as well. 
opportunities to push a career far out just beyond YouTube. He's appeared on shows like Jimmy Kimmel, and even co-hosted the 2015 South by Southwest Gaming Awards alongside the Legend of Core voice actor, Janet Varney. But before that, in 2014, he joined the board of comic publisher of Red Giant Entertainment and appeared in his very own line of comic books. As an attempt to branch even further out from YouTube, he signed up with Endeavor, a talent and media agency that helps a whole load of celebrities find new jobs. Through them, he was able to join the team of Cartoon Network series Villainous, which started up as a one-minute short miniseries and is currently being workshopped into a full-blown show. In it, he plays a character 5.0.5, a large sky blue anthropomorphic bear who is one of the main characters of the show. In 2018, Mark did something else that many successful YouTubers tend to do. He released his very own clothing brand called Cloak. The clothing brand was created alongside Jack Skeptikai and was nothing to do with either of their YouTube channels. The clothes are stylish and well made and it's just another extension of Mark's creativity. In 2020, Mark and Jack brought in Pokimane onto the team. The three of them set the company on a course to support children and adults across America during the pandemic by partnering with Feeding America in an attempt to donate millions of meals to hungry people in America. While 2018 was another great year for Mark, it was also one of tragedy. On June 19, 2018, his stepniece Miranda was tragically killed in a car accident. On June 24, he uploaded an update video saying that he may not be able to make any more videos for a while, as he was grieving for the loss of his niece. A couple days later, he uploaded again with a special message from Miranda's dad, Michael, who thanked Markiplier subscribers for their support. Uh, like, someone who has been supporting what I do since before I was even doing it. Um, same with Miranda. And uh, like Miranda, when I first started YouTube, was one of my earliest supporters. Um, not a fan, you know, just honestly, truly was proud of what I was doing. And she would often like go to school and brag about um, the fact that she was related to me and no one believed her. Moving on to 2019, Markiplier was even set to make more awesome developments in his career. In October that year, he announced a choose-your-own-adventure series called A Heist with Markiplier, which was being produced as a YouTube original series. Over the years, Markiplier has been through tragedy and depression like no one should have to go through, and he has managed to come back every single time. He's built up a thriving YouTube channel and is well known as one of YouTube's best gaming content creators. With his own YouTube original show, a clothing line, and his constant support of charities, who knows where Markiplier will go next. Are you a fan of Markiplier? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, why not subscribe and hit that bell so you can watch all of our awesome Pro Guides videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching Pro Guides, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.